With the COVID-19 vaccine from both Pfizer and Moderna showing high efficacy rates, states across the nation are preparing to distribute the potentially life-saving vaccinations as early as next month. While these companies are on track to soon file for U.S. emergency use authorization, two other companies, AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson, are running close behind in the race for a preventative inoculation against the coronavirus. Just this week, the CDC warned that companies must be transparent about the side effects people may experience after getting their first shot of a coronavirus vaccine. Now New Jersey is preparing for how and when vaccines will be distributed across the Garden State. Vaccination is an important step in helping to prevent this illness and its potentially devastating consequences. The early news of the effectiveness of these vaccines means that there may be light at the end of the tunnel. A committee has been formed to create a framework to determine priority, which must be approved by Governor Phil Murphy. According to New Jersey health officials, the first group of people that can get any of the vaccines being developed is both paid and unpaid health care workers, followed by the state's more vulnerable populations, such as senior citizens. Building public confidence in a safe and effective vaccine is essential to reaching our goal of vaccinating 70% of the adult population in New Jersey in a six month time frame. That's about 4.7 million individuals. If Pfizer gets their emergency use authorization in time, the state expects to have its first 130,000 doses by the third week of December and another 130,000 within the following week. As for Moderna, the state could see 100,000 doses by the end of the year. As for New Jersey's general population, the governor says the vaccines would reach them sometime between April and May. Reporting for New Jersey News Network, I'm Veronica Dudo.